Good morning. I'm going to read to you today from Psalm 3, verses 3 through 6. It says, But you, O Lord, are a shield around me. You are my glory, the one who holds my head high. I cried out to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy mountain. I lay down and slept, yet I woke up safely in safety, for the Lord was watching over me. I'm not afraid of 10,000 enemies who surround me on every side. You know, most people walk through life with so much fear that uh, they often don't even realize how many of our choices are motivated by it motivated by fear. Um, just think of it. Think of some of the fears that are out there right now, today. Um, you know, the coronavirus, the COVID fears, of course, we all know that. And, and we read articles about it and how there are surges and spikes. And even one yesterday about here in Virginia that uh, the numbers have started going back up. Uh, the racial tensions that are out there. It seems like almost every day we look on the news, the local news, not the national news, to see what kind of um, racial tension was sparked the night before. Um, there's all kinds of political upheaval. We're in an election year, but um, man, this election year is unlike any other that we've had for a long time. Um, people are worried about the financial markets. You could read two experts and one say, oh, we're on a rebound, and another say, oh, the sky's falling, the bottom's going to drop, and uh, <laughs> everything's going to bottom out. There's China. There's Russia and bounties on American soldiers. Uh, there's changing sexual norms that are out there. There's the bunny Ebola, and yes, there really is a bunny flu going around. Now, maybe that doesn't frighten you, but think of how scary that is for the bunnies. You know, each of us, uh, each of us experience fear. In, in each of these circumstances, they're, they're real. They're real circumstances. Um, they're events that are occurring right now. But it's the fear surrounding them that's driving many decisions. You know, as followers of Christ, it's imperative that uh, we don't act out of fear, but out of faith. Now, there's a difference between fear-driven responses and faith-driven responses. Fear-driven responses come from a worst possible case scenario and often reek of desperation. But faith-driven responses well, those come from a trust relationship with the God of the universe. Today, may we, like the psalmist, proclaim, I am not afraid of 10,000 enemies who surround me on every side because you, O Lord, are a shield around me. Let me pray. God, today I ask that you would be a shield around us. That we would not act out of fear, but we would act out of faith. Out of this trust relationship we have developed with you and that you have developed with us. We pray, Lord, your blessing on this day as we respond in faith as your followers. In Jesus' name, amen. Talk to you again tomorrow, friends.